It's end of year. We've sold a bunch of cars. We've got six going out and two coming in, but it looks like it's gonna snow. Let's see if we can get them unloaded quick. We sold this car, 69 Boss 429. Factory red car, ground up restored car. Beautiful restoration. This guy's gonna drive it and use the car, so it'll be a fun car for him to use. But I'm gonna show you a couple things. One, it's been sitting outside here because we were waiting for the trucks to come. So a couple tricks, one to start them, and two, every car should have one of these. In the trunk, just a simple shutoff switch for the battery. I'll tell you what, with old cars, it's a great thing. Every time you shut the cars down, just put one of those switches on. Undo it, if you had a draw, if you had any sort of issue, the car is not gonna burn to the ground. For shipping purposes, the number of time keys are left on. If you make sure that when you ship it, after it's loaded up, undo the switch. Even if the guy leaves the keys on so he can turn the steering wheel, it's not gonna kill the battery by the time it gets to the customer. Now here's the other trick. Any cold muscle car, doesn't matter what it is, they're not fuel injected. So a lot of guys flood these cars, especially cars with multiple carburation. So here's the trick. Pump the gas one, two, three times. You wait 10 seconds for the, the gas to atomize in the intake. As soon as it fires, get it off and idle, get it around 1500, 1800 RPM, and let it get warm there. Once the car is warm, then you're good to go. It'll make all the difference in the world. If you start just pumping the gas like crazy, you go to fire it up, you flood it, it's gonna be a beep to start. Pump it three times, wait 10 seconds, turn the key, as soon as it kicks, get it up off of idle, get it to about 1500 RPM, let it get warm. Trust me, it works every time. So this is a 72 911E that we just sold. Blue car, red interior, not the original interior color, but really nice combination. These early 911s are just great cars, a ton of fun. They drive really, really well, especially from that area. These early 70 Porsches are just great cars to drive, great value, good looking cars. And for that era, there was nothing that worked really as good as a Porsche. sold probably a hundred of these 0506 Ford GTs. They're a collectible like a Gullwing. They built 4,000 of them. It's not super rare. It's like a 300 SL, a Gullwing or a Roadster. But every major dealer, every major collector has one sitting in the collection. They're just an iconic car and I think going forward, I mean they're already 15, 15 years old, Going forward, they will just be a serious car to contend with in the future. They're great driving cars. We drove a car like this, we drove an original GT40, and we drove a 2017 GT40 at the track. They were all great cars to drive, but this was actually the most fun. Believe it or not, it's the cheapest at about 300 grand, give or take, depending on the mileage, 10% in either direction, if it's not a heritage. Order of colors, I'll tell you right now, Heritage is bring the most money. Black or blues are probably the next most desirable. Reds have been really strong. Quicksilvers are super rare. 05, one year only car. The tungstens are good. The white and blue stripes, they're all really good. The yellow's super rare. But I'll tell you, I think that the Heritage obviously bring a big premium. And then it's the black and the blues that we seem to get the most calls for. Great cars, super collectible. 300 grand, give or take, like I said, 10% neither direction, depending on the mileage. And I think these cars are just gonna continue to be super strong. You want a modern car that you can drive anywhere that is great bang for the buck, that's gonna hold its value, maybe go up, 05, 06 GTs. You know, the funny thing is, is when I built this place, I swore I'd never have to move another car to get a car out. That didn't last long. You know, this is one of my most favorite cars we've ever done work on. We painted the car, we did a color change on the car, and it looks spectacular in the silver with the stainless and the chrome. We did a dark blue interior. We built a tonneau for it that was missing from photographs. It's a really rare car. It's a 1947 
Goni Falashi Delahaye uh, 135 MS. Beautiful car. They built seven of these. The coach work is spectacular. This is an era where you bought a body with a drivetrain and then you took it to different coach builders. A big swooping lines, killer stainless steel moldings, the chrome on the car, and a really neat performing car. Lots of weird features on this car. When we move this car out, you're going to see it's really interesting to drive some of these old cars and get used to how they work and operate. The interior is really cool on this car too. And with a lot of these old cars, when you get in them, they had quirky things on how to start them. You gotta figure out what all the buttons are for. So we have a cheat sheet. There's a battery switch under the dash. Then it says the uh, ignition key has to be on. The electric pump is this knob here. We'll make sure the clutch is in here. Now here's the tricky part. As you can see here, it's got a pre-select transmission, first, second, third, fourth, which is pretty straightforward. There's no reverse. So it took me a while to figure out where reverse is, and unfortunately it's not on the cheat sheet. So there's another shifter way down here, and you got, this is reverse here, but this little knob has to be in third gear for reverse. This has to be down here, and then we got reverse. You know, the cars even sound really good. Remember, this was a really a performance chassis and, and drivetrain with just a sexy looking body over top of it. It's a fairly big car, but they're actually pretty decent performing cars. Keep in mind what era we're talking about. Like all the other cars, gotta tighten up that battery shutoff switch. So this is going down to Florida for the auction. We got six cars getting loaded today. Probably $10 million worth of cars, which is awesome. This and the Delahaye are the two feature cars. so special is it was Carroll Shelby's car from new until he passed away he only owned one 427 for that sort of time period it was one of five built in gray it's a spectacular color this is one car that I'll be sad to see go it's really a piece of history and I think a lot of times Shelby's very very much underappreciated for what he did with sports car racing back in the 60s and you know with the movie Ford versus Ferrari I think he's finally getting some you know some due for everything that he accomplished you know people often talk about 427 Cobras and they're fabulous cars to drive and go well how do you drive a you know multi-million dollar car literally there's a Cobra tour every year for real cars Guys drive these a thousand miles. A couple years ago, they got caught in the mountain in a snowstorm. There must have been 20 of these Cobras going through the snow. It would have been an awesome sight to see, but that's really what they're meant for. And they're, they are super usable, drivable cars. Drive them anywhere. They're wonderful cars to drive. They handle great. They obviously perform like crazy. You know, they're 500 horsepower in a super light car but you really sit in the car. You feel like you're part of the car. Compared to even the Ferraris of the 60s and all of the European cars, it really is a super fun car to drive. I just love these cars. So these two just came off the reliable trucks, an 86 930 Turbo Black, the best color for one of these cars, and a 65 C10 pickup truck. Both of these cars are gonna need a little bit of work, but we'll get them ready to go for the guys. Last one, 66 satellite, Hemi, four-speed car. Again, our handy dandy little shut off. So I'll tell you what, the B-body satellites, the Roadrunners, GTXs, the Coronets, they don't bring what a Cuda or Challenger will bring, especially in a Hemi car. But tremendous value, you think about it. 426 Hemi, factory four-speed, you know, really nice condition. 
We just sold this car under $70,000. That's a lot of car for 70 grand. Pickup trucks are selling for $70,000. There's a lot of car for 70 grand today that's a traditional muscle car. Still goes good. It's always impressive when you open up the hood. They're good looking cars. They're fun to drive. Here's another car that I think is good value in today's market. So there you go, 10 million bucks in cars loaded up. Porsche 72, 911E, 05 Ford GT, 69 Boss 429, 66 Hemi Satellite, the 47 Delahaye Fagoni Flashy, spectacular car. We were lucky enough to be able to do the paint on that car. And then Carol Shelby's Cobra from brand new. Busy day at Legendary Motor Car. Thanks for watching. Be sure to drop a like and a comment now to help our channel get seen. Hit subscribe and check out our other videos for more Legendary Motor Car.